Back in, back in my day, when I was sitting in, uh, in the seats of the auditorium, and they would march us in here to listen to some old people from the community whose lives didn't seem to have anything in common with ours. We didn't feel so lucky, Mr. Uh, Bennett. But the important goal of this Hall of Fame program is to remind all of you, as well as all of us, that once you leave Will Rogers, you go out in the world. And when you go out in the world, your possibilities uh, are tremendous and they're endless. And so you're very much like all these people you're going to meet were at one time. And you should see yourself in their place. You should see your possibilities. A native Tulsan whose maternal family came to Oklahoma in the land run of 1889, Roger Randall is a graduate of Will Rogers High School, class of 1962. He attended the University of Oklahoma and he holds a Doctor of Laws degree from the University of Tulsa. Roger began his career in public service with the Peace Corps in Brazil in the mid-1960s. I joined the Peace Corps when I was about 21 years old. I was very young. I was assigned to the northeast of Brazil, a poor part of a poor country. I lived in a house without running water, without electricity. But I learned that those kinds of physical comforts really didn't matter. What mattered were the people the sense of community, the feeling of being connected to those around you. In 1970, he was elected to the Oklahoma House of Representatives. He was elected to the Oklahoma Senate in 1972, then re-elected in 1976, 1980, and 1984. He was twice elected President Pro Tem, the Senate's top leadership position. I was elected to the Oklahoma legislature at the age of 26. I took office when I was 27. In those days, we had members that had been uh, in the legislature literally for decades. They were wonderful people from whom I learned a lot. I learned a lot about Oklahoma because they were from uh, every corner of this state. And we had the, the, the opportunity to deal with big policies that affected daily lives of people all across our state. We live in a world that's very different from what many of us grew up in. And in the world in which you are entering life after high school, possibilities really are greater than they were in our day. Uh, and your opportunities are huge. The student body today is different than it was in our day, but in every essential regard, you're just like us. And you need to dream big as these folks did you're going to meet in the Hall of Fame presentations. In 1988, he became mayor of the city of Tulsa and led the successful campaign to change the city's form of government. The resounding yes vote came after four unsuccessful charter change attempts during the previous 35 years. He was re-elected in 1990 by the largest margin in Tulsa's history, becoming Tulsa's first mayor under the new Mayor-City Council form of government. The adoption of the new form of government marked the most significant change in the city of Tulsa in the previous 50 years. During his tenure, he started the Mayor's Office for Neighborhoods and pushed for economic development. He became known as the International Mayor, speaking Spanish and Portuguese, frequently hosting ambassadors and international dignitaries. In 1992, he hosted the Sister Cities International Conference, which had 1,500 delegates from 40 countries. 
When I became mayor, it was a, a good time in Tulsa's history. We had gone through some difficult periods, but now things were beginning to turn around. We had a growing optimism about what would be possible for the future. So it was, it was great to work with Tulsans as we built our options for how to make our community a better place that was more inclusive, more representative, with more opportunities open to everyone. One of the differences in the student body is we've got lots of people from multiple cultures. We didn't have that in my life. That's a tremendous advantage for all of you. You can see it our own apartment colors to the artists as In El Mundo, globalizado y hitadinos. La, la habilidad de hablar dos idiomas, conocer dos culturas, le dan un ventaja, un ventaja enorme. You should have pride in that culture and the opportunity that your multicultural existence uh, provides to you. A few years ago, I was in a school in China, and the model of that school was today, be proud of your school. Tomorrow, let your school be proud of you. Today is an opportunity for us as a school to be proud of what our graduates have accomplished. In 1982, he left the office of mayor to accept an appointment as president of the University Center at Tulsa, or UCAT, which was the predecessor to Rogers State University. UCAT was established by the legislature to offer upper division and graduate courses through the combined resources of Oklahoma State University, the University of Oklahoma, Northeastern State University, and Langston University. In the same year, Claremore Junior College became Rogers State College. In 1996, Rogers State College and UCAT merged to form Rogers University with campuses in Claremore and Tulsa. The Claremore campus was placed under OU Board of Regents and renamed Rogers State University. Two years later, the former UCAT campus in Tulsa became part of Oklahoma State. Roger accepted a position on the OU Tulsa campus in the Graduate College with the title of Professor and Director of the Center for Studies in Democracy and Culture. He has participated in a large variety of civic activities. He is the past president and chairman of the National Board of Directors of Sister Cities International, which is the world's largest volunteer citizen diplomacy program. He continues to serve Sister Cities as chairman of the Honorary Board of Directors. He is a member of the City University Club in London, and since 2005, he has served as the Honorary British Consul for Oklahoma. At the state level, he has served on several boards of directors, including the Governor's International Economic Development Team. He is a past president of the Tulsa Global Alliance, which operates among its several activities, Tulsa's sister city and international visitors programs. He is a past chairman of the Tulsa Committee on Foreign Relations and is a past president of the United Nations Association of Northeastern Oklahoma. He has served as chair of the Tulsa Performing Arts Center Trust, among many other community activities. He is a past president of the Oklahoma Municipal League and a past president of the Tulsa Philharmonic. He is also a past chairman of the Oklahoma Academy for State Goals, a statewide nonpartisan and nonprofit organization that conducts studies and issues recommendations concerning public policy in Oklahoma. The Oklahoma Academy is considered one of the strongest and most successful organizations of its kind in the United States. He has also served as co-chair of the Bond Oversight Committee of the Tulsa Public Schools. 
In addition to lecturing in the U.S., Roger has lectured abroad in the U.K., Japan, Indonesia, Mexico, China, Vietnam, Brazil, Spain, Germany, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Mozambique, and the Philippines. Roger is an avid photographer and has shown his works in galleries. He is married to the former Judith Otterstrom. Judy became a book editor for the Tulsa World and, for 26 years, served as a member and twice chair of the Tulsa City County Library Board. They are members of Trinity Episcopal Church. Roger and Judy have one son, Tim.